What's up guys, it's Mike for SimRacing604 and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the new heads up display and how we can configure it in race room racing experience. You're probably going to be inundated with people trying to set times in the Volkswagen electric car at Nordschleife, that's the latest hot lap challenge from race room and you may see channels using a heads up display in race room that you're not used to so I'm going to walk you through how to set that up and uh, also how to configure it. So the first thing we do is head to uh, github.com slash sector3studios slash webhud. I will definitely forget to link that into the description. I'm kidding, I'll link to it in the description. Uh, click on that, scroll down a bit, and um, basically it's all right here in this quick start. So what you want to do is extract this uh, zip file. So we'll click it, and then there's a download. I've already downloaded it, but uh, I suppose I could do that again. Tiny little file, click it within the dash. Whoops, hey, don't tell anyone, I didn't buy WinRAR. Um, within the dash folder, uh, there's a dash.exe. So you can either run it from the zip file or you can uh, unzip this to your desktop. What I did was just pin this to my taskbar. Um, so anyway, dash.exe is what you actually want. So once that's pinned or once you're, you've got the zip file open, all we do, actually one more thing. So we'll go back here in GitHub and this web dev this line here, just copy that, control C, then go to your Steam and in Race Room Racing Experience, right click, choose your properties, and then under general, about halfway down, you'll see set launch options. Do the old control V to paste what you just copied. Okay, close, and you're good to go. So again, this is the dash.exe that I've pinned to my taskbar says looking for R3E process, AKA waiting for you to start the game. So all you need to do now is click play and then you will jump into the game. I run in 64 bit mode. I haven't tested it in 32, but I would assume it's the same. And then we'll uh, pause the video here and jump into game and I'll walk you through it from there. All right, guys, so once you're in game, you're going to want to go to your settings up here, the gear icon, go to gameplay settings, and then scroll down to the heads up display settings here. And as you can see, I've got everything turned off with the exception of virtual mirrors. I still like to use my virtual mirrors while I'm driving in race room. So I have both those enabled, but everything else turned off because you don't want doubling overlays, of course. So once you've done that, just hit back and then we will go set up a practice session just to demonstrate and uh, in this case I'm using one of the cars that does allow you to modify tire pressure which is the GT4 class in this in this case I'm driving the Porsche Cayman GT4 and uh, I'm gonna throw some AI opponents it's already set up from a previous session so I'll just leave that we'll go to Falkenberg because it's got nice short laps so next thing we'll do uh, we'll turn this up a bit actually uh, am I good enough for 100 let's try it at 100 all right, um, yeah, we'll jump out on track now, guys. Okay, guys, so here we are, track side. And uh, just to show you, if we went to car setup, you now have uh, front and rear, left and right tire pressures. So you can set that up if you wish. Uh, but we're here to take a look at the heads up display. I've got mine already configured, so let's reset it. So when you first boot into the game, this is what you're going to see. So we have a G meter down in the lower right beside it is the Helicorsa equivalent, then fuel, then inputs and uh, tire pressure, excuse me, tire temperature, and then this Motec display here. And then on the far left, you have the lap time and across the top, nothing displayed yet, but this will actually be the session times. So um, we can customize this. So you probably saw when I scrolled my mouse to the left there, there's two, there's the gear icon and then the eye icon. Click the eye icon and everything goes away. So you can choose to run with no heads up display at all if you wish. And, but if you do, turn it back on, click the gear icon. And this is where it gets interesting because you can customize a lot of the parameters here, which I think is fantastic. And it's actually very, very intuitive. So um, looking at what I have set up here, I don't really care too much about the G-forces that are being exerted on my body. So I'm gonna turn that off and let's see what else. The inputs, I don't really care too much about my inputs. I know what I'm doing, I never look at that. 
possibly interesting to some of you guys if I'm hot lapping or something, but regardless, we'll turn that off for now. Uh, three different language, languages here, German, English, French. Um, you can even customize within. So the spotting, that's what they refer to Helicorsa as. Uh, you can turn that off altogether, turn it on, or and you can choose whether it will beep when a car is ne near to you. And you'll hear that when we get out on track. Um, but the important takeaway here is that you can turn that beep on or off. It's a little bit annoying. I think if you were... Um, yeah, it, it, I think it would get annoying after a while, but I like it for what it is. We'll leave it on to just sort of demonstrate things, and then the MoTeC is the one in the lower left. Now, not only can we customize what we see, we can also reposition it. So as you can see, when I mouse over one of the icons, I get the arrow, and I can drag it. And if I use my scroll wheel on my mouse, I can enlarge it. So that's pretty big. Uh, that's good. Seems like a good place there, right in the middle of my screen. Maybe a bit bigger. So that way I can see when somebody's nearby, very obviously. That, in my line of sight, is right above my wheel, so it's perfect. Uh, fuel, of course, I want to know how much I'm consuming. I'm going to make that a bit bigger. I'll go ahead and make the tire temperature bigger. And then the MoTeC we will make huge. How about that? So I'm always going to know what game, well, excuse me, what gear I'm in, as well as my current speed. Uh, across the top, those numbers are a bit small. I don't want to obstruct my mirrors too much, but I like it about that big. And then this is my lap time. And then in the center of the screen, soon, once we complete a couple of laps, we're going to have the lap delta, so we'll deal with that as it comes. I'm going to move my mouse to the right and um, just start turning laps here. So I'll probably slow down just enough to uh, let these guys get close. I want to demonstrate the Helicorsa style app. Okay, we'll slow down here, come off the throttle all together, and you'll see when this guy goes for the pass on my right, you should hear a beep if he gets close enough, and you'll see it come up in the center of your screen there. You see those cars passing. So it's great to see their presence there. Very useful app. So short laps here, shouldn't take me long. Before I complete one and then we'll have a lap delta. This is just my out lap currently. So as you can see the tire is still cold. So I can't push too too hard. And you'll see as well there'll be a red border. Oh by the way uh, those center bars there on the tire display those are wear indicators as that becomes more and more black the blue will start to fade and uh, or not fade actually get lower in size as the tire wear comes on you'll see that throughout the laps here and uh, that is an indication of how worn your tires are there we go getting past again and watch what happens when I go off the grass here excuse me off the track you can see that red border there the red border is an indication that something is wrong with your tires you can see the red fading 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 bring it back a little bit fading 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 uh, that's overheated tires or dirty tires so you're not gonna have ultimate excuse me optimal grip with those tires whoops overshot the corner there so you can see my tires are still not up to temperature And you can see we're currently in 15th position. We ran a 52.215 last lap. You can see that in the top right corner of your screen there. And the lap delta. I'm actually going to pull over, get out of these guys' way, because I want to adjust uh, the size and position of that delta. Make it a little bit bigger there. And then move it right in the center. Great for hot lapping. All right. I will try and unsafely rejoin here. All right. Now let's see if we can climb our way up the leaderboard a little bit. We have one tire in the 70s there. In terms of temperature, the rest still in the 60s. We're gonna have to push those into the 80s, push a little bit harder around this. Oh, I cut, oh shoot. Sorry about that, guys. So we'll focus on building tire temperature here. I'm gonna push unusually hard here, try and scrub these tires, build up that temperature. And I can adjust the pressure as well if I need to in my setup. Nice scrub there. And you can see the green in the front left there. You can see it's starting to be reduced. 
as the tires wear a little bit. Alright, so we'll try and put in a clean lap here, guys. I think this Lotus, this team of Loti are going to get in my way, prevent me from turning a fast lap here, but we'll see if we can come in somewhere in a ranked position so you can see me get out of 15th. You can see on the Delta app there, you can see it's estimating my position based on my current lap time. Uh, where I'll be, I'll still be 15th even if I continue at this pace, so I need to pick it up. But I made up a significant amount of time through that corner. Will I still be in 15th once I cross the start finish? I've launched all the way up to 11th. So you guys get the point here. I'm going to turn a couple more laps, see if I can climb into the top 10 somehow. I need to get out from behind these Lotuses. But I think you guys entirely get the point here. New heads-up display is pretty darn fantastic. Very customizable, very... Uh, very aesthetically pleasing. I like what uh, Sector 3 has done with this. About 0.3 seconds here. Estimated position fourth. All right. A little bit of rough and tumble action around corner one there. All right, got a big bit of track ahead. Let's see if I can put myself into first position here, guys. It won't be this lap, but we'll try for it on the next lap. Front left is slightly overheating. And then the front right, totally off. So you can see there's a fair bit of setup work here to do with the tire pressure. How far off am I here? Move up in third. Up about a half second. This should be good enough for first position. Delta app is telling me so. See that front left as I'm really pushing this lap. That front left is just cooking. Not a good corner. Need minus 0.187 and I got it. So first position there with a 47. Good lap for me here is in the high 46s, so I'll take that. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, thanks very much for watching, and we will see you next time.